Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to deal with the topic of recurrent neural network or in short RNNs. So without any further ado, let's get started. So if you are already familiar with the concept of RNN, you might be familiar with this architecture. So this architecture, you might be, uh, you might have already seen this architecture. So if you um, display this in the time domain, obviously you can see there is a loop inside. So if you unroll this in the time domain, you are going to see the same RNN over here. There is an input here and there is an output. And one more interesting thing that actually differentiates RNN from other neural networks is that there is a hidden state over here that is passed to the next RNN cell. So this is the one thing that actually differentiates RNN from other uh, uh, neural, uh, uh, other deep neural networks is that the state of one cell is passed as an input to the other cell. So this basically helps to keep the context. And you can see there are many RNN cells up to n, okay, which means this sequence was of length n. We'll see what all of these means in the next slide, okay. So again, this is the cell out here that you can see. Now, the important thing to note here is that this weight, WIH, IH symbol uh, symbolizes input to hidden, okay, and WHH that is from hidden to hidden. So, this what happens is let's say you are given an embedding or uh, any uh, sequence as x of t okay then it will go over here and it will be multiplied with this we are going to see over here and then some uh, and then the last the hidden state from here that comes will be multiplied by whh so what is wih or the uh, weights of input to hidden is a matrix that is a linear layer as we have seen nn dot linear that is multiplied with the input at timestamp t so this is the input at timestamp t and this one is the weight matrix or the linear matrix or the uh, linear layer. Okay. Now WHH, which is this one, it is a matrix or, or also a linear layer. Okay. That is multiplied with the previous hidden state at timestamp T. So this previous timestamp from here, it will come and this will be multiplied by WHH. Okay. And then you are going to use this function. Now, what is this function? Again, multiplication of XT into WIH that we have already seen over here plus a bias for this particular uh, matrix and then h of t minus 1 this one that comes here from the previous cell is h of t minus 1 into whh which is this one okay and also a bias for uh, b of hh now i'll be not using these biases for uh, 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 demonstration in the next slides because these don't really add to the concept and uh, okay so having done all of this over here and added these multiplication you take the tan h now this is what differentiates the um, pytorch rnn to the general rnns or a different kind of rnn is that the h of t the h of t that you get from this calculation is equal to o of t okay so we need to keep this in mind so um, let's go to the next slide so let's take an example. Okay, we are going to understand it through an example, real world example. Let's say we are doing a sentiment analysis. Okay, we'll understand the architecture of RNN through an example. And let's say we our data set contains these three uh, sentences. The first sentence, I did not enjoy the movie. The acting was poor. And the third sentence is amazing storyline. Now sentiment analysis. So we will say the negative sentiment has been um, coded as zero and the positive sentiment has been coded as one. So I did not enjoy the movie. This certainly looks like a negative statement and hence a sentiment and hence you get a zero as the sentiment. This again, the acting was poor, definitely negative and you will get a zero over here. Amazing storyline. This seems to be a positive uh, sentiment. So we have this data set and we have the labels as you can see over here. Now, what I need to do in uh, what I need to do in this case is basically first I'll need to do something called as um, tokenize. Tokenize is basically you are taking each sentence and converting into the word. So I did not enjoy the movie. Will If you tokenize this, it will become I. Then uh, in a list, the first element will be I, second will be did, third will be not, fourth will be enjoy, four, fifth will be the, and sixth will be movie. Similarly, the acting was poor. Okay, so what happens and third third one also same thing. So basically you take the sentence and you break it into words. Now you take all the unique words. So for example, here the and here also the this is repeated. 
okay so we will have just one of them and take all the unique words and write it like this over here okay and then what we are going to do we are going to do something called as one hot encoding so you basically take all the unique words and then you encode all the words in the form of numbers why do you do that because computers only understand numbers they do not understand human language english or other languages so what i have done i have taken the first uh, word that is i and then i have given it one at a uh, zero position and rest everything as zero did is the second word and so second one, uh, position is one and everything zero and i hope you already know the concept of one hot encoding if not you can search on my channel so the last one storyline which came from over here it is zeros at all the position except the last so this is 11 okay these are 11 values over here and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 values here also so obviously um, there are 11 values and there are 11 values over here also from here to here 11 values okay so let's now go to the next slide so how how this will happen so if i am going to use i then i will not use i i'll be using this encoded vector it's called one hot vector okay so let's take let's train our rnn on a single example or the first sample so first sentence was i did not enjoy the movie this was the first sentence now if you remember from the last slide every word was encoded as a 11 dimensional vector right 11 dimensional vector so what i am going to say is that since we are going to multiply the input word to wih the first dimension has to be 11 so that multiplication can take place we'll see in the next slide what will happen and this dimension second 15 is i have chosen for myself you can also choose uh, cheese choose <laughs> cheese you can also choose um, uh, 25 20 30 it doesn't matter you know you can choose whatever you want but once you choose that the weights for hidden to hidden will also be this 15 only and it will be a square matrix which means there will be if this is 15 that this will be 15 plus 15 if this is 25 this will be 25 comma 25 so you will have to remember this and when we will implement it after some time in pytorch we will see that so how the um, training will take place first at the first time step this will be given i will be given obviously i is vector which is this will be given okay this will be given over here and multiplied by wih so it will be multiplied by wih uh, we will see how this multiplication takes place and then it will go over here since this is not having any input we will assume over here to be all zeros zeros of uh, 1 cross 15 we, again we will see in the next slide that 1 cross 15 uh, dimensional zero will be multiplied by whh and they will be added they will be added as you can see over they will be added and h of uh, tan h will be applied so that it becomes h of t and that h of t h of uh, t over here will be passed to the next uh, yeah h of uh, this will be h of 1 h of 1 and this will be h of 0 okay this will be h of 0 so h of 1 will be passed over here and then when this will be passed this one will also go together so did will come what the uh, the uh, encoded vector 0 1 and then followed by all zeros will be given here it will be multiplied again the, the wih and then it will uh, the h1 will be multiplied by whh and again again uh, both of them will be added and then tan h will be um, taken and yeah, tan h will be applied and whatever will be the output will be o1 here and then you will have h2 over here and so on for all the words not will go it will be multiplied the the uh, encoding vector will be multiplied by wih and then h2 will be multiplied by whh and same same way for all okay lastly what will happen is since we are as movie is going to be the last word what will happen is out here when we will get the final output then linear layer will be applied and classification task will be done let's go to the next slide to see it uh, in action now the first word was i and uh, the first uh, embedding was this one the first embedding was 1 followed by 10 zeros now i have already explained how these shapes have been formed so 11 cross 15 15 i have assumed and 11 was from here itself okay because we have to multiply so first what you see this embedding vector is the same as this vector okay over here now what will happen this one will go as x x0 will be multiplied by wih so x0 um, dimension was 1 cross 11 into uh, w's dimension was 11 cross 15 so obviously this can be multiplied and you will get 1 cross 15 fine second since this is the first word there is nothing like uh, coming from here as an input so uh, as a previous hidden state so we'll assume zeros 
h of 0 we will be uh, we will be assuming and we, it will be of shape 1 cross 15 so h of 0 will be multiplied by w of h h that will be 1 cross 15 into 15 cross 15 this will again give us 1 cross 15 so you see both of these have similar shapes now what will happen they will be uh, till here multiplication was done and then these two will be added which is this one this one and this one which is here they will be added together and tan h will be taken off there as we have seen earlier and that will be called h of 1 so h of 1 will be over here h of 1 will be over here i'm sorry h of 1 i'm using a mouse actually so it's becoming a bit difficult h of 1 will be over here and it will be of shape 1 comma 15 now the important thing to remember is o of 0 this is in pi torch Elman RNN, there is another RNN where one more weight is used, so there O, H will, uh, o of 0 will not be equal to H of 1. So O of 0, whatever will be the calculated, H of 1, whatever is calculated, same thing will go as output and same thing will go as the hidden layer for the, uh, hidden unit for the next layer. So let's see another one. The second one, what will happen? After that, the second word will be given, if you remember, and then this is the same vector then x1 x1 will be multiplied by w i h if you remember then again h uh, this one is also 1 cross 11 and this one again remain the same same uh, these weights are shared which which means these weights do not change it's going to be the same it is multiple so 1 cross 11 so the, the vector is 1 cross 11 as you can see it will be multiplied by 11 cross 15 and then you'll get 1 cross 15 then this h1 is from the last last one from here if you remember h1 was given out here so h1 is going to this rnn it will be multiplied by whh and then 1 cross 15 into 15 cross 15 it will give you 1 cross 15 again these both are same what will happen they will be added over here and tan h will be applied and h2 will be found okay h2 will be of length of shape 1 cross 15 and again we can say here o1 equal to h2 so whatever we'll be get, getting here h2 will be here okay h2 will be here and this will be passed to the next layer this will be passed to the next layer and now let me quickly uh, go through all of them so third word is not then again a uh, not uh, embedding is here it will be multiplied by w i h and then h2 will be coming from the previous layer yeah previous uh, timestamp then h2 will be multiplied by w h h these again the dimensions are the same and then again you, you they will be added over here and tan h will be taken and you'll get h3 h3 will also have this so o2 equal to h3 and similarly what will happen is even uh, the fourth word will be uh, same thing will happen again the fifth word again the same thing will happen and sixth word again movie same thing will happen now one important thing to note here is this h5 is there uh, sorry h6 is there okay and which is equal to o5 now we'll forget about this hidden one now we don't require because this is the last one now we'll take the o of 5 okay now what we'll do we'll take a linear layer so o of 5 shape was 1 cross 15 if you remember and shape of the linear layer has to be 15 cross 1 why because 15 is the what to say input so obviously the first dimension has to be the of the last dimension of this and one because we are having we are going to have uh, this is a um, binary classification zeros for negative and one for positive okay so one for positive so again you can see here 1 comma 15 into 15 comma 1 will give you a one value and then after that whatever value will be given you will be using sigmoid for that okay now let me show you the uh, second examples again training this uh, second example the same thing the first word will go multiplied by w i h then the year from year zeros will come multiplied by w h h whatever uh, we'll take the tan h and then again same thing will happen here 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 and finally again the linear layer again the same process will happen for this also and lastly you'll get one value and you will be using sigmoid for classification for the third one also you just have two words so first amazing multiplied by this then you'll have uh, zeros from here then multiplied by w h h and same storyline will go from here the embedding of storyline will go from here it will be multiplied by this then uh, the previous h1 will be multiplied by this added taken the tan h and then provided to the linear layer again last so um, the same thing will happen okay and then you at last you'll get a classification so i think this is clear yeah this this should be clear till here now we will go to the collab and try to implement it in pytorch
so now we are ready to implement the rnn in pytorch so in this particular case the data set that i have chosen is something that i got from one of the pytorch websites only so it says that it, ha it is name classification so given some names you have to determine from which country it has come so i'm going to show you for that i'll first copy paste the link so for that the link is here and the link is here and i'm going to run this particular it's the data set is not very big it's actually very very small and to actually go and show it first i'll have to unzip the data okay so unzip and then i'm going to say dot the zip okay so as you can see then there are some arabic names there are some chinese names there are some czech names there are some french german portuguese scottish and so many so let me go and see the names for ourselves so we'll say names and let's try to see some french names so if you can see there is abel abraham adam albert and so on arthur uh, borden and so many of them okay so these are french names there are also some let's say japanese over here you can see abe abukara adachi and there are so many names in uh, like there are totally i think 18 or 19 um, languages and the frequent names there okay so this obviously is a multi class classification so first thing that i need to do is we need to import the basic stuff so let's say import os import numpy as np then i'm also going to need something called as unicode um unidata sorry unicode data and then i'm also going to need string so the basic pre-processing I have taken from that page itself because the aim of the video is to show you um, RNN and not pre-processing. That's why just to uh, do everything fast I have used the code from there. I'll give the link of that website in the description so don't worry. So we'll say all letters. So we are going to have the letters that we'll be using in the data set. So we'll say S key, um, not data set, for your embedding. Uh, ASCII letters plus and then these are the A to Z in both capital and small and then we are going to have some special characters so like space then we are going to have the full stop we are going to have comma semicolon and a single quote now we are going to find the length so number of uh, letters is equals to length of all letters so it should be 57 because the last time I checked it was 57 so yeah they are 57 now what we need to do is basically we need to clean this that the reason is uh, some of the names that were there were not in basic english so let's say there are some words i don't know how they say it and then uh, there is a character and then on top there is some you know there is uh, uh, i think a tilde or something I, I i don't know you know there is something there so in order to clean that up um, we are going to use a function that I have already uh, written over here that I have copied from there itself. Okay, so this actually helps us clean the data. So I'm going directly going to paste it over here, and this was that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define some empty list. This is for the name. So what what this does is basically this will help us take all the name all the names irrespective of the country, all names and all country. And this will help us in actually making the maps okay so we will see that in a second um, now what we are going to do we are going to get all the names and all the countries so we will say for the names what we are going to do, say for f in file names so what are the file names so um, first let me show you os dot list dir. and let me copy the path from here so names had all the country names right so let me first close it now I'm going to he go here and copy path and now I'm going to paste it. So what you're going to see is all the country names, Czech, Polish, Polish, Chinese, Vietnamese and so on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to iterate in all, with all of these. Okay, so first there'll be Czech, there'll be Polish. Now what I'm going to do is um, the country name. So the country name will be country name is going to be um country name is going to be f uh, first let me read the file itself so we'll say file file or um, we we'll just say fl fl is equals to open and whatever the file is that is f 
and then we are going to open it in the read mode okay then what we are going to do is we are going to have a list just let's say list and now what we are going to do is we are going to say f dot read lines lines l i n e s lines and let's print one of those lists okay we we'll say l i s and then we'll say break let's see what we get and let me close it over here okay so check okay fine i have forgotten to give the entire path and that's to a certain degree understandable what you need to do over here is we need to open uh, quotations pass this and then put a slash and then put a plus okay so this is just the file name f is the file name and this is the full path now we are going to run it okay you can see able addist and these are the names okay so what we are going to do is now we are going to clean this you can see there is a slash and and this will help us actually clean this, this function okay so what we are going to do is we are going to remove this over here we are going to say zip or say we are going to say map the function that we are going to use is unicode if you don't know what map is don't worry we will see it in some other video ascii and then what we are going to pass we are going to pass the list and what we are going to do with this we are going to make it a list itself and then we'll try to print this okay so this is you can see this is the unedited or uncleaned list and let's print this let's say break and let's print this okay what we'll get now i hope we'll get all the names that have been already cleaned yeah you can see the names are clean the slash n is gone and other extra um, characters are also gone now what i have to do is i have to append this to all the names or not append i will say extend all names dot txt and extend this by this list okay so this one all names is an empty list and this will extend through all the clean names so it will have all the names so this loop will run for all the uh, countries and this all names list is going to uh, capture all the names from all the countries and then i also need the all country so that i can make and this all country is basically going to have the corresponding country with respect to the name okay so abl country will be checked okay again a dist a exit also the country name will be checked so what we are going to do we are going to say dot um, extend and here what we are going to write it here we are going to say f dot split because we remember it was check check dot txt okay if i am pronouncing it right fine if i am not pronouncing it right check then please check me or correct me in the comment section okay how to pronounce check check republic i think check is the right word okay f dot split and we are going to take it as zero okay the first index because if you remember it was something like uh c h e z h check dot txt so we only need check uh whatever i'm going to get a lot of hate for this i can't spell okay fine whatever so what we are going to do is we are going to extend all of this how many times we are going to extend all of this for for um list number of times or len of len of list fine or list let's not call it len of list let's take it away from here i'm going to make some changes over here what i'm going to say is i'm going to say clean list okay and then extend clean list over here clean list or clean list and then i'm going to say length of clean underscore list fine so now let's run it and see what our output is fine so it seems it has run now we are going to say all names and we are going to see the length i think there was something around 20000 yeah 20074 so there are 20074 all names okay and all country should also have this because we have been appending all the countries itself with the name 2017 now let me see the what what we have got in all country we just have got the country name right and yeah vietnam is anything okay fine so the country names are fine after this what we need to do is we need to find the number of rows so number of rows that is basically number of 
uh, elements in this i have written number of rows because we will be using later okay so we'll say len of all underscore names fine so we have done till over here now what we need to do is now we need to do an embedding now what why embedding if you remember from the slides we used one hot encoding so this is going to be one hot encoding so torch dot i so this basically gives you a uh, a, 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 an identity matrix okay so if you remember one hot encoding could could be said as a, a as a let's say a identity matrix okay so what we are going to say over here is we are going to have n of letters so each letter that is from a to z both capital and small and some of the extra characters that i have that i had each one will be given a sequ uh, a, a unique sequence that will be a one hot encoding vector okay so this is going to be the embedding and what we also need is mapping mapping is equals to take the dot dict in bracket map uh, not map zip we are going to zip what we are going to zip we are going to zip the number of the unique countries np dot unique all country and what we are going to zip it with we are going to zip it with a range now what i am doing i'll explain right now a range of uh, n of rows so if you see if you run this what is you will see the mapping okay so mapping is basically arabic gets a uh, number of zero chinese gets number of one okay cz okay so cz ech okay finally i am corrected in the video itself you don't have to write down in the comment section then dutch is three english is four and so on so every country has gotten a unique number this will actually help us in uh, cross entropy making the loss function and if you want to see the embedding also we will see it out, it out here so embedding is okay you can see uh, one 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 and again here one one so this is basically a 57 cross 57 matrix 57 cross 57 identity matrix so if you see the shape emb dot shape 57 cross 57 uh, identity matrix which will be using as one hot vectors fine now what i need to do is i need to get i need to write a function get data so this is the most important function just give me a second yeah this is the most important function okay and if you do not understand it you will have to like uh, really sit down and understand because it took me a lot of time to write this function so we'll say get data and we'll say only index so um, if you remember all names had all the names so each time you give an index it will query this list for that index and see what is the name and the corresponding country so name will be all names of index okay index and country will be all country of index fine so we have till here now I, what i'm going to do is name care list now i'm going to explain what this is okay name care list equal to um np dot array and then we will be providing here list of name now let's return this for name care okay um, let me run this function so that i can give you one let's pass it zero itself so abl was the first name what it did it it basically uh, converted the word abl so abl has been converted to a list numpy list of capital a small b and l the characters basically and this is why we are doing this we'll see in a second so this is what we have done till now we have just taken a name and converted into a numpy array of its characters fine now we are going to do the most important thing what we are going to do we are going to find the index so let's say our all characters is let's print all letters all letters um all letters is a b c d and and, and then capital and then some extra of uh, our special characters that were added what is the index of e it will say 0 1 2 3 4 4 is the index of e what is the index of uh, c it will say 0 1 2 2 and similarly for all of this so what is the index of a so uh, we know english has seven, uh, 26 characters so from here to z will be, this z will be 25 and this um, a will be 
26 so what is the index of a is 26 what is the index of small b is going to be this one and then something for l also so what we are going to do we will convert this to from a b l what we are actually doing that we have till now a comma b comma l we will be converting into the position lists so it will be capital l uh, capital a is at 26 position uh, small b as first position and l will be i don't i think that i am not really sure 13 or 14 position whatever so we will be getting this after we have got this we can use it in we can use it in the i function or whatever the embedding function and then pass over here 26 comma 1 comma 13 when you will do this you will get the requisite vectors of these so what is the vector of uh, capital a it will be embedding of this okay so this is what this particular line that I am going to write is going to do. Okay, indices is equals to np dot where, and then what I am going to write is name care underscore list, and then I am going to increase. Then I am going to increase. Yeah, I am going to increase the dimension at the end. Num none. Okay. Now what I am going to do with this, I am going to say this is double equal to np dot array. And what we are going to do is small c. And then what we are going to have here is we are going to have list of all letters. Okay. And then what we are going to do, we are going to say the first one. I will print it for you and show. Okay. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to return indices. indices. And now let's remove this or let's just let's just run this particular cell over here see i said 21 okay this is not 13 this was 11 so we got the indices as 21 1 and 11 so a's index is 20 uh, 26 so this thing over here will be at 26 position from here b you can easily see it is at the first position so you got one and il, il, at 11th position you will have l so this one here is 11 so we got this now what we need to do we need to convert it the index to its one hot one coding so we'll say emb of we are going to say torch dot torch dot dot from numpy and we are going to come convert this indices itself to a numpy um, tensor uh, to a torch tensor and then pass it to emb to get its um, vectors so we'll say torch dot tensor and we are going to convert this also we are going to convert mapping of the country so country whatever country name that we got and from the mapping if you remember we will get the requisite uh, number okay so arabic was zero chinese was one you remember that okay and we will return all of this so now let me go and print this so you can see capital a is it was 26 if you remember so from here if you start counting from here and then you go to the second line you will see one is at the 21st uh, 26th position b you can easily see it's as one position so this is the one hot encoding for b and for um, what to say your l it's this will be at uh, 11th position for a small l it will be at 11th position over here you can see so we have got the one hot en encoding of all the characters over here and what we have also got is the country name country code that is two okay now with that we have done the most important part the most difficult part of getting the data now what we are going to do is we are going to define the rnn and this is the crux of this particular lecture we will say rnn from module now all the things we are familiar with we will say def init and here what we are going to pass we are just going to pass self and then we'll pass some parameters let's say um we'll pass number of country we will pass number of country and then we will also pass um, the input okay so input will be your uh, uh, n of letters number of letters so what we are going to say we are going to say self of okay uh, we will do this and then i almost forgot to give super we will give super we will pass self dot init okay now we will say rnn so uh, see very carefully how we define rnn in pytorch so we will say nn dot capital R N N and then what we are going to do over here is we are going to pass the uh, so RN, RNN takes actually this kind of thing it will take an input size and then it will take hidden size 
now if you remember we did the uh, w i h w i h i h it was input size or the embedding size so what was the embedding size it was 57 that is number of letters 57 was the number of letters and what was the hidden size hidden size uh, we had to choose for ourselves so in this case i am saying number two into number of letters fine so this is going to be our um, input size and hidden size that is uh, this is for the matrix of wih and this is for the matrix of um, to say your hidden matrix or whs matrix okay so let me think so with this wih will become n letters which is 57 and 57 into 2 it will become 114 yeah and then whs will become whs will become um, 144 104 comma 114 so this will become our wih over here and whh fine the next was the forward or uh, fully connected layer linear layer so n and dot linear now what this will be getting this will be getting the this size so it will say 2 into n of l letters and i am going to have um, how many countries are there so n countries n country fine so this is going to be our um, 18 now we have to define the forward function so we are going to say self dot self dot x okay now we are going to say out of 0 equal to um, self dot rnn and we are going to pass just x okay so out of 0 comma and a something that is you can say you know it doesn't matter what is over here okay that's why we give a underscore now how to interpret the output basically the output is interpreted as the first out or let me just keep it out the first will be all the capital O's that you remember okay so capital O's over there were your um, uh, your outputs okay so it will be of the form in this case it will be of form um, a number of step size so our step size it depends on this now number of step size it depends on the number of characters it has okay so it will be number of step size like for example in this case um, the ABL case this uh, number of timestamps how many timestamps will be there three timestamps will be there okay so this will be of the form three three comma and how, how is each what to say your um, input represented it is represented by 57 so it will be of the form um, um, so we will see in the output okay i think it will be 57 i'll show it in the output and what we are going to do is we are going to say um let's say out one is going to be whatever will be the output of this self dot fc we are going to pass outputs last actually you remember we were only passing the last one okay if you remember for the slides only the output of the last rnn was passed into the uh, linear layer and then what we are going to do we are going to say return out of one so we will run this particular cell after that what we need to do we need to define the model so we will say capital net and net and we need to pass in two parameters so number of countries so number of countries if you remember what what we will say we will say np dot unique np uh, sorry len of np dot unique unique and then all country so all countries will have all the countries uh, according to their names and then uh, unique will find the unique countries and then len will give you the length of that and the next one that is number of letters this though we have it like this only and then we will run this particular cell so let's just print model and see what is what we have so we have a linear uh, we have rnn 57 cross uh, 144 and then we have a linear layer um, 144 comma 18 and bias is equal to true in this case we are giving bias equal to true now what we need to do we need to define the loss function so we say loss function equal to n n dot cross entropy why because we are having 18 features which is which means that this is a multi-class classification so cross entropy loss cross entropy loss and then we have to do this now we are going to say optimizer is equals to torch dot optim dot stochastic gradient descent and then we are going to say model dot parameters 
learning rate equal to 0.01 okay so this one over here and lastly we need to write the training loop so we will say number of epochs as equal to um, I mostly use 10 for the start you can use 30 because you know we have to print the entire thing we'll say all losses equal to an empty close bracket we will say um, for epoch in range num of epochs after having done that we will say r arr now what is arr i'll just show it in a second num np dot a range so you might have already seen that we are not using data loader over here the reason is our names are of different sizes now um, you might go to my channel and see the collate function video okay it will explain what like in depth why we are doing such a thing it will explain in depth why we are doing such a thing but the idea is to actually use um, uh, different size names and then be able to stack them all together since we cannot stack them so runtime has disconnected don't worry i'll um, continue after some time okay so coming back now np dot arrange number of names that all the names to uh, 20074 okay after that what we are going to do is we are going to say np dot random dot shuffle and then we are going to pass the arr so what basically this line is going to do is it's going to give you numbers from um, 0 comma uh, 1 comma 2 up to 20074 because that many number of names are there and what this is going to do it's going to just shuffle that row okay and after that what we need to do is epoch loss equal to 0 and then from for in in array so array was shuffled obviously the way you shuffle it is this you don't write arr like this it is like in place operation so after that we will say data comma target is equals to get data so we have already seen how it will be done and we'll pass the int okay after that we'll pass it to the model we'll say model and then we'll say target okay then we'll find the loss that is equals to loss underscore function and then we'll have output comma target after that okay this will be output and not target output comma target after that what we are going to have is we are going to say um, epoch underscore loss plus equal to loss dot detach dot numpy fine and then what we are going to do we are going to say optimizer dot um, zero grad then zero grad zero grad loss dot backward and optimizer dot step so now we are going to run this particular cell so this might take some time it will take a lot of time so i'll come back after this has run and okay one thing that i have almost forgotten i'll have to kill this one and what I'm going to do right now is I have almost forgotten all losses dot append and we are going to write epoch loss now we can run it okay so now this is running and I will come back after this training is complete so there was one change that I had to make uh, before I was having the learning rate as 0.01 so that was actually not converging properly and that's why I have reduced it to 0.001 so I have reduced it by 10 times okay and after that if you run it for 30 epochs you can see the graph that has come it is decreasing properly um, definitely you can go even further for like something more than um, 30 epochs more uh, because the trend is decreasing and I think it will decrease even further okay and if it kind of saturates and your loss as you can see the loss is still quite high 15,000 so I would say you can train it more and if the loss after some training seems to flatten or plateau out you can again reduce the learning rate and then go forward okay so that was it for this particular video um, if you have a question comment section Instagram uh, Facebook if you want a more in-depth uh, kind of uh, talk one to one and if you have some project or if you have some project or you know just want to talk about computer science in general from uh, with me a one to one discussion on a video call please go and check my fiber page you can have uh, 
one of you can take my gig it's really cheap just five dollars so thank you very much and bye